Two of the country's biggest banks have been slammed for failing to submit clear evidence on the first day of hearings in the Financial Services Royal Commission. Over the next two weeks, the Commission will hear from witnesses who will address concerns raised in more than 1,800 submissions. They include allegations of falsified loan documents, the forging of signatures and bonuses for pushing customers into more debt. Today, under questioning, one of the banks admitted its conduct constituted fraud. James Oaten reports. It's a mountain of a problem. It's quite frightening how much credit card debt is out there and how many people's lives are currently affected by it. The Royal Commission is trying to determine why financial institutions enabled so much bad debt to accumulate. And despite the banks asking for the inquiry, the Royal Commission is struggling to get answers. Some entities made significant efforts to provide considered and thorough responses to your questions. Other entities took a less comprehensive approach. For the second time, both the Commonwealth Bank and National Australia Bank were in the firing line for failing to provide clear and detailed statements. The submission did not grapple with the task set by you, Commissioner, to provide comprehensive information. The situation wasn't helped when NAB tried to redact some of its submission. Except These things should have been dealt with out of court without everybody sitting here. Of particular focus was NAB's Introducer Scheme, a program that paid people to sign others up for loans they often couldn't afford. 8,000 so-called introducers were hired, netting 0.4% of each loan's value. 46,000 home loans were secured for NAB this way, worth a total of $24 billion. People did step outside their responsible any guidelines. Well, let's be frank, Mr Wardron, there was fraudulent conduct. In yes, there is, yes. yes. While NAB says it's now tightened that program, many mortgage holders continue to struggle with bad debt. It basically means that their house will be worth less than their loan. There's no way the Royal Commission will have time to hear evidence from all 1,800 people who have made submissions. To keep to its tight deadline, the Commission has so far handpicked only four customers to testify over the next fortnight. James Oaten, ABC News, Melbourne.